So in today's video, we're going to be reacting to some recent news and updates regarding Donovan Mitchell's situation with the Utah Jazz and his connections with the Knicks. And to be specific, we're going to be reacting to two new recent articles suggesting Donovan Mitchell get traded to the New York Knicks by Brett Seigel and Mark Berman. So first to start off in Mark Berman's recent article with an interview with Spence Chekets, who's a longtime radio host in Salt Lake City and the son of former Garden President Dave Chekets. And Spence believes that a trade request from Donovan Mitchell will not come until after next season. And when the request does come down by Donovan Mitchell, Chekets senses that the Knicks will be atop of Mitchell's wish list. And Chekets is actually saying that he has good relationships with Jazz members of the organization and players, so he can call it an informed opinion. And he believes that the Utah Jazz are going to move on from Rudy Gobert this offseason and acquire some pieces to build around Donovan Mitchell. And according to Check It, since the All-Star game is coming to Utah next season, the ownership is very sensitive. And that most likely means that they really want to keep Donovan Mitchell for at least one more season for him to be in Utah for the All-Star game. And even though they're trying to build around him long term, they still will realize the fact that he does not want to stay there for the long term future. And then according to Mark Berman, several NBA teams including the New York Knicks are monitoring Mitchell's situation in Utah. And the connections are there with Leon Rose being the Knicks president and his former agent. And Spence Chekets also adds that he's a CAA guy and the Donovan Mitchell and Leon Rose connection is real and it's there. And in Sports Illustrated's Brett Seigel's recent article, the Jazz will not be looking to trade Mitchell in the offseason unless he requests a trade. And he also reports that as of right now, the sense around the league is that Donovan Mitchell is going to be willing to see what Utah's front office has planned moving forward. And Seigel also states that as for where Mitchell could possibly end up if he was to leave the Jazz, the New York Knicks have been a heavily speculated landing spot for him and he also states something very important for Knicks fans and that there is a level of mutual interest that exists between the two sides. And he also says that the Knicks front office has not hid their interest in Donovan Mitchell and he does have connections to the city of New York. And this is where the smoke comes in when Seigel says that Donovan Mitchell is not opposed to the idea of playing for the New York Knicks one day as his sources say, but he is not the biggest fan of Knicks owner James Dolan. So even though we as Knicks fans are well aware of this, this is still a tough pill to swallow because the Knicks still have a new management in place and it still looks like Dolan's ownership is having an effect on the decision of star players in terms of coming to New York or not. And in regards to Dolan's ownership, Seigel states that many around the league share the same feelings as Mitchell does in regards to how Dolan runs the Knicks organization. And he reports that several other all-star talents have turned down the opportunity to sign with the Knicks in free agency because of the lack of accountability and willingness to succeed at the top of their franchise. However, Brett Seigel also states that playing in New York City and for a team that he has always been exposed to in the New York Knicks is definitely something that piques Donovan Mitchell's interest, but it does not appear that the All-Star wants to deal with all the inconsistencies that come with the Knicks, particularly stemming from the top of their organization. And to end the article on a specific note, Seigel says that almost every team in the league would show interest in Mitchell if he was to request a trade out of Utah, but in specific, the Miami Heat and Atlanta Hawks are the other two teams besides the Knicks that Mitchell would have interest in sources familiar with the Jazz Guard noted. So to summarize both of these articles, it shows that Donovan Mitchell definitely has interest in joining the New York Knicks one day, but James Owen's donorship is preventing him from joining them as soon as possible. But it also states that Donovan Mitchell's connection with Leon Rose is legit. So with all of that being said, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this situation with Donovan Mitchell unfolding. And it looks like Donovan Mitchell will stay next season with the Utah Jazz to give them another chance and one more year to build around him and see if things go right. But if things go sideways once again, the Jazz are in a serious situation and might lose Donovan Mitchell next offseason as there's a legitimate chance to happen. And it looks like the top three teams on Mitchell's trade interest would be the New York Knicks, Miami Heat, and Atlanta Hawks. So if you did enjoy this video and want to see more New York Knicks news and updates like these, make sure to smash that like button, 
Subscribe to the KNYT channel and it's been KNYT here and I'm out. Peace.